Hi everyone, I'm Sai Priya, a principal cloud engineer from the Virtual Code Innovate team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Oracle Gen AI agents to turn natural language into SQL queries. Here's a step-by-step -step process we are going to follow. Firstly, I'll show you how to create a workspace and a user and attach the schema along with adding the right permissions to the user. Next, we will load the sample data set into the user schema. After which, we will create a vault to securely store the database secret. After all of that, we are going to configure the database tools to connect everything together. Finally, we'll set up the SQL agent and then run some queries to test it. By the end of this session, you'll see how easy it is to go from natural language question straight to SQL results. Firstly, log into OCI console and navigate to the database you created. Under the tools configuration, copy the Apex URL and open it in a different tab. Switch to administration section and enter your password and sign into administration page. Then create a new workspace by entering the required details such as workspace name, username and password. Finally, click create workspace to complete the setup. Since this database, which I have contains other schemas, I want to ensure the newly created user is linked to the correct schema. To do this, go to existing workspaces and click on the workspace you just created and then select the workspace schema. Then add a new schema by selecting your workspace. Search for the schema you just created and add schema. After which, go ahead and sign out of admin console, switch to the database actions and open SQL from the navigation pane. Now grant create session privilege to the user you just created. You should also grant unlimited table space to the same user. The next step is to load the sample data. Log into your Apex workspace and user credentials. Then navigate to SQL Workshop tab. Under Utilities, select Sample Datasets. Here, you'll find several datasets that you can utilize for your demonstrations. For this walkthrough, we will install this Customer Orders dataset. Click Next. Ensure you're loading the data into the correct schema. And then select Install or refresh the existing dataset and click Exit. Finally, switch to the object browser under the SQL Workshop to verify that the data has been loaded successfully. In order to create the database tools, you first need to create a vault to securely store the database password. In the OCI console, navigate to Identity and Security and select Vault under Key Management and Secret Management. I've already created a vault named GenAI Agent with the master key using software protection and AES encryption. Next, under Secrets, you can create a new version containing your user password. Click Create Secret Version button. Your key and secret are now securely stored in the vault and ready for use. Next, we will create the connection within the database tools. Start by giving the connection a name and select Oracle Autonomous Database under the database service. Find your database within the correct compartment. Enter the username and choose the password stored in the vault which you created earlier. Then. Create a wallet content secret by providing a name and select the vault and master key. And retrieve the regional wallet. And this is automatically going to pull the wallet from your autonomous database, which is stored regionally. Once that's done, click create. After the connection is successfully created, we will validate it by ensuring everything is working correctly. Another way to test the connection is by using the SQL worksheet. We can verify the tables are loaded by running a select statement. 
If the query executes successfully, the connection is confirmed. As a final step, we configure the SQL agent. First, we'll add a name, a welcome message and click on the next button. We can also add SQL as a tool and update the configuration with a name, description and an inline schema. You can obtain the inline schema by referencing our database tables. Next, we select the database tool connection that we just configured and you can go ahead and test it. Once the connection is successful, we enable the SQL execution and self-correction and then click on the Add tool. After the agent becomes active, we can launch the chat to test it. For testing purposes, we can type show me all the orders placed by the customer Gary Jenkins. Now we can test it with few more queries to confirm that the SQL agent is working as expected.